Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this geometric line art logo in Affinity Designer. This logo is based on the logo of the Australian Center to Counter Child Exploitation. I saw this logo in an episode of 60 Minutes Australia and I thought that it was a brilliant logo, so I sought to replicate it in Affinity Designer. So before we start drawing the logo, we first need to understand what it is made of. This logo is made of the lines connecting the equidistant point on the left and right side of a triangle. So here I'm highlighting this triangle to make it clearer. So the line connects the equidistant points, meaning the points and equal distance interval on the left and right side of the triangle. So here this first line connects the first equidistant point on the left side of the triangle to the last equidistant point on the right side of the triangle. The second line connects the second point on the left side of the triangle to the point before last on the right side of the triangle. The third point connects the third point on the left side of the triangle to the third point starting from the bottom on the right side of the triangle. And it goes on like this, connecting all the equidistant points on the left side to their opposing point on the right side of the triangle. And this creates this geometric line art figure of the shape of the letter A. And overall, there are 16 lines that connect the opposing equidistant points. Alright, so to get started, we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we make sure that snapping and snap to grid is enabled. We can uncheck snap to guides and snap to margin as they might cause hindrance on this particular figure. And then we go to view, grid and axis, we are going to set up the grid. So we check on show grid to make it apparent. And then we go to the advanced tab. As a grid type we are going to use horizontal triangular. So this is a grid made of equilateral triangles meaning triangles of three equal angles of 60 degrees. We are just going to increase the spacing a bit to around 80 pixels and click on close. And then we are going to draw the triangle. So we take the pen tool, we set the fill to none, we leave the stroke as black and we set the stroke width to two points. And then we are going to draw a triangle of 17 grid units on each side. So we start here at the top of the composition and then we count 17 grid units towards the bottom left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we go by 17 grid units towards the right. And then we go back to the starting point. So now we have our triangle and we press on escape. And then we're going to start connecting the lines. So we start here from the first point on the grid on the left side of the triangle. And then we connect it to this point here on the right side of the triangle. So the very last point on the grid. So this draws our first line that we need for the figure. And then we press on escape one select and then we are going to connect the second point here on the left side of the triangle to the second point starting from the bottom on the right side of the triangle and then we press on escape again and then we connect the third point on the left side of the triangle to the third point starting from the bottom on the right side of the triangle and we press on escape again and then we continue the process. We connect the fourth point on the left to the fourth point starting from the bottom on the right. And then we continue like that to connect all the points. So make sure to always press escape after each line connected. And also make sure to not forget any point. And then once we are done with it, we take the move tool. We select the triangle that we had first created. And then we can hide it because we are not going to need it anymore. And then we go here to view. 
and we can uncheck show grid because we are also not going to need the grid anymore. And then we press Ctrl A to select all the elements of the figure. And we center it on the middle of the composition. And then we are going to add some colors. So here we select the very first line and we set its stroke color to blue. So it's going to be the following HTML notation 185 DC3. And then we select the second line and we are going to set its stroke color to green. So it's going to be the following 1DBC69. And then we select the third line and we set its color to red. So it's going to be the following one. EF1524. And then we select the fourth one and we set its color to orange. So it's going to be the following one. F89328. Alright, so now once we have set the color for the four first lines, then we're going to repeat the same colors in the same order. So we select the fifth line and we set it to blue. We select the color here from the small palette in the colors panel. And then we repeat the same colors, green, red, orange. So overall there should be 4 times 4 lines of 4 different colors if we have created the figure correctly. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a geometric line art logo in Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time, bye!